We're going live. I'm gonna sit here and wait just a second. Hey, Christina, how you doing? Um, give me like a thumbs up if you guys can hear me okay. We'll start soon, but I wanna let a couple other people join. If they're planning to, they may not, honestly. Hi, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Cool. Thumbs up means you can hear me. Cool, cool. Thank you for that. Um, wow. Happy Thursday, you guys. So, um, if you're here, that means you're in need of some yoga. Whether you can take the whole class or not, it's totally fine. Um, just do what you can. And, uh... If you don't have like a block, a yoga block, you could use um, like a soup can or a small box of some kind. So feel free to go around and gather some props. Like I said, we'll just get started in a moment. Um, are you guys allowed to like send comments? Somebody say something. Does anybody know any good jokes? Send me a good joke. Well, can everybody see the comments? I, okay, so can I be honest? I don't know anything about this platform. Hi, Maddie. <laughs> um, I don't know anything about this platform. Like, I have I recorded my first um, Instagram live video this morning. <laughs> so I'm a little nervous because I'm getting used to the platform. Um, hi, Anne. Can everybody see Anne's hi, yay, or is that just me? I don't even know how this works. Anyway. Whatever. So grab a block or if you don't have a block, a box or a soup can or maybe like a water bottle. Um, you might want it. We are going to do a couple standing poses. Um, those of you who don't know me very well, I'm Allie. So far, everybody. OK, cool. Thanks, Michael. <laughs> um, so far, I think everybody knows me. You guys are all pretty regular uh, friends and students of mine. So <clears throat> thanks for joining. Um, all right. So, block, have it handy. I want you guys to start just laying on your backs. So, I'll do this with you for a little bit. I'll probably demo most of this class, um, if not all of it. So if I get a little out of breath, it's okay. Those of you who take my classes regularly know that I don't usually demo. <laughs> Go ahead and close your eyes, lay down on your back. If you're not really in the mood to lay on your back, you could always find a comfortable seated meditation kind of position. But I do want you to try to close your eyes and just find a little bit of softness and stillness. For some of you, this will be just tapping into your breath or into the observation of your body. When you're ready, take a big inhale through your nose. Exhale, just let it go. <sighs> Exhaling through your mouth is always a good way to release some pressure, so feel free to do that here. Again, inhale through your nose. Exhale. <sighs> yeah, good. Let's do one more like that. Inhale. here with your eyes closed you can give yourself a moment just to set an intention for your practice today maybe this is something about you specifically or about your body or your energy maybe it's about you and your interactions with others just find out search within And then one last thing before we get started, I want you to think about somebody or like a group of people that you would like to dedicate this practice to today. So for me, I want to dedicate um, my energy and my practice to all the nurses and doctors out there right now and all of the people who are like on the front lines working at the grocery store and everybody who's, you know, homeschooling their kids. Just 
anybody that's like still working, even the people in Congress, I want to dedicate it to them too, even though they're annoying. All right, so you, you find out somebody that you want to dedicate your practice to as well. And once again, we'll take an inhale through our noses. Exhale. Good. If you have enough space to spread your arms out wide like the letter T, now would be, this would be a good time to do that. Otherwise, you could goalpost or make cactus arms uh, like so. And while in this position, I want you to start by just bringing your knees in towards your chest and dropping your legs over to the right side of your body. Stay here for a little while. You can send your gaze over your left shoulder. We're still in a really mellow, kind of settling in headspace, so give your body some time to ground, to slow down. And of course, we want to make sure we're breathing here. Inhaling fully, feel your rib cage expanding, feel your belly expanding. Exhaling fully. Good, inhale, bring your knees up towards center. Exhale, drop your legs over to the left. Keep your knees stacked as well as you can. We're gonna open our arms wide like the letter T. Send your gaze to your right. Again, just settle. You might notice you feel a little different on this side. Inhale. Exhale. Again, nice big breaths here. One more breath. Nice, inhale, bring your knees up towards center. Exhale, you're gonna drop your legs over to the right once again. Yeah, and then line your knees up, make sure they're stacked. And if you're able to bring your left shoulder to the floor. If you cannot bring your left shoulder to the floor, that's okay, but try to keep your knees stacked, okay? From here, I want you to interlace your fingers behind your head. You're gonna keep your legs in this twisting position. Take an inhale. As you exhale, feel your belly sinking towards your spine. So belly button towards your spine. Once again, inhale, feel your ribs expanding less than the, or more than the belly. Exhale, find a little crunch. Inhale, lower. Exhale, shoulder blades come off the floor. This is two, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, three. Keep going. Move with your breath, that's the most important part. This is five. Six. Seven. Eight. Keep going. Last one, inhale. Exhale, crunch. Good. Inhale. Bring your shoulder blades back down, pull your knees in towards your belly. If you want to hug them in, that's cool. That might feel really good. And then let's exhale, twist to the second side. Once again, try to keep your knees lined up. Arms are going to go wide. Just refine your twist and notice if that right shoulder head doesn't want to go all the way to the floor. Knees stay together as best as you can. Interlace your fingers behind your head. When you're ready, inhale. Exhale, pull belly button in towards your spine. Keep that kind of core engagement here. Once again, inhale, feel your ribs expanding. Exhale, two shoulder blades come off the floor. Inhale, lower. Exhale, crunch. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, lower. Four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale. Keep going. You guys are awesome. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, exhale, seven, I think. Inhale, exhale, eight, two more. Exhale, crunch, last one, make it good. Inhale, exhale, two shoulder blades come off the floor. Nice, inhale, lower, feel your belly expand, hug your knees into your chest. Yeah, this time give yourself a big squeeze, draw your knee in towards your nose. And then lay your torso back down on the floor. Arms are going to go wide again, or again, cactus arms if you need to. 
Try to keep your knees uh, about the same line as your hips here, so we're not pulling knees really close to the chest or really far away. Try to just keep them like thighs vertical, or this is like your home base. We're gonna inhale and center. Exhale, take both your legs over to the right. Hover your knees off the floor. Inhale, center. Exhale, go the other way. Ooh, good, inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale. Exhale to the left. This is two. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, left. That's three. We'll do five. Inhale, center. Exhale, drop them over to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, drop them to the left. Now, you can always make this harder by straightening your legs or even holding a block between your thighs. One more time. Exhale to the right. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale to the left, squeeze those legs together. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Now, my Pilates instructor, um, this is the best way I can think to describe this. My Pilates instructor gave me this cue once when I, um, when you hug your knees into your chest and curl up, notice your belly, if it's like poofing up, they call that bread doughing. Now we all have a belly, right? It's fine, but like, if you're finding that you're getting that bread top or that bread doughing, try to pull your belly button in towards your spine. So let that kind of soften down. And then we're going to feel that core activation here. Reach your arms forward. Take an inhale. Exhale to hold. Feel that belly pushing in towards your spine. Inhale. Extend. Ardha Navasana. Exhale. Bring it in. Belly sinks towards the spine. Inhale. Extend. Exhale. Bring it in. Good. We're going to do 10 of these. That was two. Inhale, extend. Exhale. Three. Belly stays in towards the spine if you can. Four. Five. Six. You can really curl up off the floor as long as that belly stays down. Eight. Nine, ten. Woo! Okay, hug your knees in your chest. Soften. Give yourself a moment. You can rock side to side. Ah, woo! Are we okay? Take a big inhale. Let your belly expand. Exhale. Open your mouth. Let it go. Awesome, you guys. All right. From here, come into a tabletop position. So you're going to be on hands and knees. Your hands are directly below your shoulders. Knees are directly below your uh, hips. We're just going to start with a little bit of cat and cow. So start with cow. Inhale, let your belly drop. Feel this whole thing kind of stretching out. Exhale, round. Good. Just move through this as you breathe. Inhale to drop the belly. Arch your back. And exhale, round. Yeah. Good. Keep on going like that. And when you're doing this, I want you to pay attention to your shoulder blades for today. So as you inhale and arch your back, can you bring your shoulder blades together on your back? And then exhale, do the opposite. Really round your upper back. Try to broaden that space between your shoulder blades. Next. Inhale. One more time. Shoulder blades come together. Exhale. Broaden the shoulder blades. Good. From here, come back into your tabletop. Pull your belly towards your spine. We're going to do some side to side cat cow. So just left shoulder to left hip, like you're extending the right side of your body. And then do the opposite. Yeah. Left shoulder, left hip. And right shoulder, right hip. You can inhale to center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Come back to center. And from here, I want you to come down to your forearms. We're going to lower all the way into Sphinx pose. Oh, I love Sphinx pose, you guys. It's so good. All right, so for this one, first thing I want you to notice is if you're kind of just like hanging out or if you're actually active. So we want to be active in Sphinx today. So I want you to press your hands down and with your forearms, create this action like you're pulling backward a little bit. That's gonna pull your heart forward. Press your hips down into the mat like you're trying to lift your belly button off the floor. Engage your core. From here, can you try to bring your shoulder blades together on your back? Take an inhale. As you exhale, we're going to keep our knees on the floor, but I want you to lift your hips up, broaden that space between your shoulder blades. Good. Hold here for an inhale. 
Hold for an exhale. Inhale. Exhale, put your hips on the floor. Inhale. Pull into Sphinx Pose again. Nice. See if you can engage your butt, engage your core, and pull with your forearms. Inhale here. Exhale again. Forearm plank. Now, you can stay in modified with your knees down or you can take your knees off the floor. It doesn't matter. But what I want you to be focusing on is broadening that space in your upper back. Now, that doesn't mean you're lifting your butt really high. Your butt should be the same height as your shoulders, no higher. Stay here. Keep broadening that space between the shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale, hips come down. One more time. Inhale, sphinx. Pull with your forearms. Bring those shoulder blades together. From here, we're going to exhale, lower down. We're going to keep this one really low, but we're going to take locust pose. So, forehead is on the floor, hips pressed down. You're going to lightly tuck your pelvis, engage your butt, and then let's inhale, lift the chest, reach your arms straight back, lift your legs, shalabhasana locust. Again, we're keeping this low. I want you to think more about getting long and feeling comfortable in your spine rather than getting like really high off the ground and getting crunchy, right? Notice the angle of your neck. It should be about the same angle as the rest of your spine. Take another inhale here. Exhale, lower down. Hands come underneath your shoulders. You're welcome to lift up through plank or through tabletop. It's up to you. And then just press back into your first downward dog. Now, for some of you, this is going to be your first dog of class or of the day. So if it's your first one today, just like really feel into your body. Take your time. I want all of you to take about a minute on your own and just move however you want to. For some of you, this is going to be handstand hops. For some of you, this is going to be just like really simple paddling your feet, right? So take your time, get into your bod, feel good, find your breath, and make sure you keep your breath with you. This is the most important part of the practice. Again, you're moving however you need to here. You're finding whatever is going to make you feel best in your down dog. Maybe that's lifting a leg. Maybe that's coming out of down dog for a sec. You guys, listen to your body. It's okay. You can move your hips side to side. Anything you need. Yes. Nice. Give yourself another breath or two, figuring out what your body needs, making sure you're balanced between your two sides. Good. And when you're ready, we're going to come into our stationary downward dog. That means no more wiggling. Spread your fingers out really wide like a frog. Spread them out. Push the floor away with your hands. See if you can broaden that space between your shoulder blades just a little. And then reach your thigh bones up and back. Maybe your heels will come to the floor. Maybe they won't. That's not super important to me. Today we're focusing more on shoulders. So I'm going to push the mat away. Keep pushing the mat away as you inhale. Rock forward into plank pose. If you need to adjust your feet, that's okay. Exhale, we're coming right back downward facing dog. Inhale forward plank. Exhale, downward dog. Good. This is going to seem a little bit um, crude potentially. I had a teacher once saying, don't get soggy pubes. So when you do plank, you know, it's crazy, right? Don't do this. Don't like let your, you know, don't let your pubes hang out in the water. You want to lift them up. <laughs> lift your hips up. <laughs> Exhale back, downward dog. And if you're like, that humor was not my style, just ignore it, you guys. <laughs> We're all crazy right now. Inhale forward, plank pose. Exhale back, downward dog. Good. Stay here. Take an inhale. And let's briefly pick up the right leg. And if you want to, you can open up your hip, bend your knee. We'll just spend a moment with this. We're not going to do a ton with the hips today, so we're going to just make sure we get it in while we can. Good. It's like you're drawing your knee up towards the ceiling. You're squeezing your right heel towards your butt. You're still pushing the floor away with both hands. Untwist. Set your right leg down. Inhale, reach up. Left leg. Super straight. And then we'll open up the hip. Bend that left knee, left heel squeezes towards butt, left knee goes up towards the ceiling. Keep pushing the floor away. I bet your arms are getting tired, but we're almost done. Undo it, put your left foot on the floor, bend your knees, 
Look forward towards your hands. Step or jump, standing forward, fold. Hang out over your legs. If you want to bend your knees, you can hug opposite uh, elbows. And just a little bit of swaying side to side here is probably pretty good for you. Again, if you want to like move around in any which way, my guess is you've probably been sitting a lot today. So you want to make sure you're loosening out all that tension in the body so you can wiggle your shoulders, shake your head yes and no, open and close your jaw a couple of times. Good. And then when you're ready, you're just going to crawl your fingers up your legs to your thighs. We're going to inhale, lift up halfway, pull your elbows back, lengthen your spine, and then let's pull the rib cage in a little bit. Tuck your chin, push in your feet, lift all the way up to standing. Cool. Hey everybody, we're standing up. Great. Find mountain pose, Tadasana. Feet are about hips width apart. You're standing at the top of your mat. When you're ready, inhale, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Reach and lengthen. And exhale, hands come to center chest. So that's a half sun salutation. We're going to do one more just like that, just for a little bit of continuity of breath. This is the part where we're like moving towards vinyasa yoga, right? Go ahead and inhale, reach. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fingertips down, fold, let your neck relax. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to center chest. So you might notice some of you are moving faster or slower than me. It's okay. I want you to move at your pace. Okay? We're going to do the same motions with the body. The arms are going to be different. So as go ahead and interlace your fingers behind your back. Roll your shoulders down your back. As you inhale, you're going to lift your chest. Exhale. Keep your fingers interlaced as you fold forward. Keep your fingers interlaced into your half lift. Pull your ribs in. Exhale. Fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Let your arms release. Come all the way up. Look up, reach. Exhale, hands center chest. Nice. Let's add on. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. We're going to do some lunge salutations from here. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold. Fingertips come down. Step your right foot to the back of your mat. Put your right knee down on the ground. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, low lunge. So in this one, Rather than sinking your hips as low as you possibly can, why don't you kind of back your hips up a little bit and imagine that your legs are like a pair of scissors trying to close. So you're gonna feel your inner thigh muscles kind of lighting up. And then I want you to keep that sensation in your inner thigh. Start to sink your hips back down a little bit. Lift your belly up and away from your front leg. Now when you do your lunge like this, you're not gonna go as far, but you're gonna feel a lot more integrity in your legs and in your core. Go ahead and reach your arms high. Inhale here. Since our left leg is the guy in front, I want you to bend your left elbow. Try to place your left hand between your shoulder blades, and then you can just grab a hold with your right hand and stay here. You can press your head into your top arm and lean back. Or those of you feeling a little spicy, take a full Gomukhasana arms. So your right arm would go back for the, uh, the clasp. So it looks like this if you're not sure. Okay, one more breath here, wherever you are. Lean your head back. As you exhale, undo the arms. Hands are going to come to the floor. Downward facing dog. Very simple. Take an inhale, push the floor away. Exhale, hold your pose. Once again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Step your left foot forward in between your hands. Set your, um, did I say left foot? I meant step your right foot forward in between your hands. Set your left foot on the ground, left knee on the ground. Already off to a good start. So you're doing the same pose. Your right leg is the guy in front. Again, avoid that temptation to sink your hips really low. Pull your legs towards one another. Engage your core. And then let's lift up. Yeah. Feel that strength in your legs. You might feel a bigger stretch throughout the like, entire quad rather than just this little tiny bit in the front of the hip. And then those of you wanting to take it a little bigger, you can bend your right elbow, press your head into your top arm, or take a full Gomukhasana arm by uh, interlacing your fingers behind you. Yeah. 
Good. Lean your head back into that top arm. Pull your rib cage in. So your core and your legs are all doing work. Everything's doing work. Take another inhale. Exhale, undo it. Hands are gonna come down. Step to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Reach and lengthen, look up. Exhale, hands go to center chest. Good. So that's our most basic one. We're gonna route the next, of our, next little bit of our standing sequence through a really similar um, like lunge salutation. So those of you who take my classes regularly have seen this quite a lot, but if you're new to my classes, just follow along to the best of your ability. It's okay if you get mixed up. Inhale, we're gonna reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fingertips down. Step back with your left foot this time. You're gonna keep your knee off the ground. See if you can't find that scissor action of your inner thighs and then lengthen your spine here. Take an inhale. Now listen carefully. Your left hand is going to the floor. We're gonna inhale, the right arm goes straight forward. As you exhale, you're making a 360 degree circle with your right arm all the way back towards the front. Inhale when your arm goes forward. Exhale, it goes all the way around. Again, inhale. Exhale, to circle. One more, inhale. Exhale, as you take your exhale, you're gonna reach your right arm straight up towards the ceiling. So you're in a twisting high lunge now. Same thing, you're still pulling those inner thighs towards one another, lengthen the spine. Look towards your top arm if it's comfortable. You can stay right here, let this be your pose, or you can lift that left hand off the floor. Cross your elbow over your right knee, bring your hands to center chest. Stay in your high lunge. Take an inhale and exhale. Good. Wherever you are, I want you to set your left hand back on the floor. We're going to pivot onto the pinky edge of that left foot. Maybe you just step your right foot to the center of your mat, take a modified side plank. Maybe you're taking a full side plank, stacking your feet, doesn't matter. But what I want you to do with your left arm, push the floor away, rather than like dumping into that shoulder and getting really heavy, push the floor away, get strong through that shoulder joint. Take another inhale, lift your hips, lift your ribs. Exhale, two hands come to the floor, plank pose. Inhale, get long. Exhale, we're taking the side plank, same exact thing on the second side. Push the floor away. Yeah, so get up out of that shoulder joint rather than kind of dumping into it, push. Nice, inhale. Exhale, two hands touch down. Step your left foot forward between your hands. From here, pull your legs towards one another. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Right hand is gonna go to the floor. Left arm goes forward. Inhale here. Exhale, circle. Nice. Inhale. Exhale around. Just waking up that shoulder joint. Easy peasy. Exhale around. This time, inhale forward. Exhale, you're gonna take the arm up. This is where you're gonna stay for some of you. For some of you, you're like, no, I want this to be spicy. So, you're gonna take your hands to prayer, cross your right elbow beyond your left knee, and that's cool. You can make this harder by pulling those legs towards one another more, engaging all the way into your core, lengthening your spine, and looking up. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. As you exhale, take the hands to the floor. Step forward, standing forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Reach, get super long. Exhale, hands go to center chest. Maybe now's a good time just to think about that person or persons you've dedicated your practice to or to the intention you set for yourself at the beginning of class. From here, feet are still hip width apart. Let's inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fingertips are gonna come to the floor. Step back with your right foot first. Your legs are doing a high lunge. We're gonna inhale, come up. You're gonna fall high lunge. Same action with the legs. Scissor your inner thighs towards one another. Lift your belly up and away from your left leg. Reach your arms high. Take an inhale. Exhale, plant your right heel down. We're gonna come into warrior two. Okay, just for the sake of you guys being able to see what I'm doing, I'm gonna face the camera. So, 
Warrior two, settle into your pose. I'm not gonna be super picky about this one or any alignment. Just feel good in your body. Do the warrior two that you love. Press into your feet, reach your arms. Inhale here. As you exhale, I want you to take your right hand down your right leg. You're gonna reach your left arm high. This is reverse warrior. This is the easiest version of this one. So you can stay right here if you want. If you wanna make this harder, take your left arm, bend your elbow. You're placing your hand between your two shoulder blades. Press your head back into that elbow and take this version. Or it could go even more difficult by taking that right arm off the leg and leaning back. Inhale here. Good, one more breath, inhale. Undo it, come into warrior two. And start to work your way into side angle. For some of you, you're like, you know what, that was hard, I just wanna stay right here, chill out, do it. Side angle is great, you can stay right here. Those of you looking for a little bit more challenge, come into half moon next. So you're gonna take that right hand to your right hip. Left fingers are gonna crawl in front of the left foot. And then you're just gonna stand up on the left leg, Lift your right leg up. Maybe your left hand goes to block or floor. Doesn't matter. Figure out where you want to be. You can stay here or feel free to bend the right leg. Ardha Chandra Chapasana. Push your foot into your hand and lean back. Wherever you are, you're going to undo it. We'll all meet in warrior two. Left leg is in front. Stay here for a moment. Inhale. Exhale, two hands are gonna to touch down. So this is right back where we started. You're framing your left leg with your two arms. Left hand goes to the floor first. Actually, just kidding. Right hand is gonna to go to the floor. You're gonna pivot onto the pinky edge of your right foot. Step this left foot to about mid mat. Inhale, you're gonna take a modified side plank. Now listen carefully. As you take your next inhale, left arm reaches up and overhead. Lift your hips up a lot so you're in a big side bend. Inhale here. Exhale, lower your hips towards the floor. Inhale, lift up, big side bend. Exhale, lower. I call this the old lift and dip. Inhale, lift, it's pretty fun. Exhale, dip. We're gonna do five. Inhale, lift, push into your left foot. Exhale, dip. One more, inhale, lift. And exhale, dip. Cool, inhale, lift up your modified side plank. Exhale, two hands touch down. Inhale into plank. Exhale, side plank, second side. You're gonna put your right foot in the center of your mat. And we'll find this modified side plank, something comfortable. Inhale, reach your right arm up and overhead, lift your hips up. Exhale, dip. You guys, I'm out of breath. I hope you are too, I hope you're sweaty. Exhale, dip. It's really good to use a super sweaty practice just to kind of work out some of our anxiety. Just for good measure, we'll do one more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dip. Inhale, lift up your new modified side plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. You could also take child's pose here if you need a breather. That's cool, inhale. Exhale, ha. Inhale through your nose. Step your right foot forward between your hands. Take your legs to your high lunge. Inhale, come on up. As you exhale, warrior two, right leg in front. Good. Just get comfy in your warrior two. Like I said, not super picky about this one today. Press into your feet, feel good. Gaze over your right fingers, take an inhale. Exhale, reverse warrior. Maybe you stay right here. If you wanna go just a little bit bigger, a little more active, you're gonna bend your right elbow, hand goes between your shoulder blades. Press your head into that top arm and lean into it. This is level two, or medium, and then spicy would be left arm off the left leg if you want it. Rebend your right knee here, inhale. Let's inhale and come into warrior two next. Exhale, side angle. Maybe you stay right here. Maybe you're binding your side angle or something. That's totally fine. Some of you are gonna wanna go into half moon. I always like to take hand to hip. It just makes the pose feel easier for me. I'm gonna crawl forward, straighten my right leg, lift my left, peeling my torso open. 
And just for good measure, I'll back it up so you can see. Thanks. Nice. Those of you looking for just a little more, bend your left knee, grab the big toe side of your foot, push your foot into your hand, Ardha Chandra Chapasana. Nice. Good. Inhale, half moon. Come back into warrior two. We'll all meet here. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, step to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold over your legs. We're more than halfway through the class, you guys. Good job. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, reach and lengthen. Exhale, hands to center chest. We got one more sweaty standing sequence, so bear with me, stay with it. You guys are doing great, I assume. I have no idea, actually. I think you are. <clears throat> Continue. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold. Fingertips are coming down. Step back with your left leg. Inhale, come into your high lunge. Get strong through your legs. Pull them towards one another. Lift your belly up and away from that front leg. And then rebend your front knee. Take an inhale. Exhale, we're taking a revolved high lunge. Any variation you want. Some of you are going to bind here. That's fine. And some of you are like, I'm going to put my knee on the floor. Also totally fine. One more inhale. Exhale. Take your hands down. Now, you're going to walk towards the left side of your mat. Straighten both your legs. Your toes are facing the side of your mat. And your heels are pointed straight back. So, like, legs are straight. Prasarana, Padottanasana, wide leg standing forward fold. From here, inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, you're gonna fold. Walk your hands forward though, like we're about to do downward facing dog. So your upper body is in down dog. Your lower half is in a wide leg standing forward fold. Let your spine kind of get along here. I think this pose is so nice. It's like, it just feels really, really good on the spine, on the side body. Okay, from here, why don't you take your right hand in line with your skull. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna take your left hand towards your right foot. Maybe you can grab it, maybe you're not that close. It's okay. If you're able to put your left forearm on the floor, also cool, we're twisting to the right. Your hips are gonna go with you a little, but don't go crazy. Take an inhale. One more breath. Inhale to untwist. Replace your right hand with your left. Same thing. You're gonna crawl your right hand over towards your left foot. Maybe your hips go with you a little, that's fine. Keep your spine kinda of long, and just feel a twist. If your low back hurts, skip the twist. It's okay. Good. From here. We're going to inhale, bring it back. Walk your hands back. Turn towards the original front end of your mat. We're going to keep the legs straight. Step your left foot forward a little. So we're coming into press, um, oh, pyramid pose. I always forget the Sanskrit for this one. Somebody feel free to text it if it's easy for you right now. From here, you're pushing into both of your feet. We're going to inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold over your legs. Two legs stay straight. If you need to put your hands on a block or your soup cans, that's cool. And then just avoid that sensation of letting your hips dump over to the left or to the right. Instead, I want you to think about pulling your left leg towards the front of the mat, your right leg towards the back of the mat. Inhale to get long through the spine again. Engage your core. And then exhale, fold. Let's place left hand on the floor. Inhale, lengthen one more time. Exhale, you're going to twist to the right, revolved triangle. Um, so your right hip's going to try to pop over to the right side of your mat. I want you to pull your right hip towards the back of your mat instead here. Option to gaze up. Now, if you want to stay right here, that's fine. Those of you who want to take this a little bit further, we're going to come into revolved half moon next. So you'd step forward with your left hand and you're just going to lean forward, lift your right, or sorry, left leg off the floor. Keep turning your torso toward um, the right. Pull your right hip back as you do this. 
and see if you can't lift that inner thigh of the left leg higher. If Japasana is something you think you can manage, go for it. If you're like, no, that's cool. I don't mind. All right, from here, two hands are going to touch down. We'll just bring it, our legs into our lunge position again. Take an inhale. Exhale, plant your hands. Step to plank. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Woo! Take a breather. That was a long one. So we're going to do that same sequence on the uh, other side. So left leg leading, I think. Inhale here. Exhale, left foot forward between your hands. Okay, we ready? Inhale, lift, high lunge. Come on up, find it. Pull your legs towards one another, get strong, engage your core, lengthen. Inhale. Exhale, we're gonna bring hands down, twist towards the left. Good, you're pulling your legs towards one another. We're active and strong. Inhale here. Exhale. And, and exhale. One more. Inhale. As you exhale, we're going to take the hands down. I want you to walk over to the right side of your mat. You're coming through press already, right except this time I want you to turn your heels in and your toes out. You're going to bend your knees. We're going to come into goddess pose. Now you guys stay facing where you are. I'm just turning around so you can see me. Oh, goddess. Okay, so the easy version of goddess is going to be hands on um, your thighs like this. If you want this to be harder, do no hands, mom. Maybe you reach your arms up, maybe you're like, no, I'm gonna carry plates, it's fun. What I want you to do is take your knees, press them towards the wall behind you, and then sink. Maybe you need to sway a little bit. Maybe you're like, no, I am a statue. I'm not going anywhere. You guys burning yet? And if you need to, you can always straighten your legs, come back. Ooh, I love goddess pose. All right, let's inhale, lift up, reach, exhale. We're turning back towards the front of the mat. So you guys have your left leg in front. From here, we're gonna come into pyramid pose. So you're just straightening that left leg. We're gonna step the right foot forward a bit. Two very straight legs. Try to pull your legs towards one another like your scissors are closing here. Let's inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Take a moment, tuck your chin. Let your system kind of catch up again. Maybe you have hands on blocks here or whatever props you're using. That's okay. All right, from here, we're going to inhale, lift halfway up. Right hand is going to go to the floor to a block under the right shoulder. As you exhale, you're going to turn your torso toward your left. And again, try to pull that left hip back in space, not over to the left, right? From here, you're maybe reaching up with the arm, looking up if that's feeling good for you. If you want this to be bigger, you can always cross your right arm beyond your left leg. Nice. You can stay right here, breathe for a couple rounds, or some of you are gonna come into revolved half moon. You'd take your hand forward a bit. You're gonna lean forward, lift the right leg up, yep, and twist towards your left, same thing. You're pulling that left hip back. You're lifting your inner right thigh high. Core has to be strong for this one, you guys. Take another inhale. Exhale, hands come down, toes come down. Take your hands down. Step forward, standing forward fold. Woo! All right, hug opposite elbows here. Take a moment, let your head kind of dangle. Okay, so I'm going to face front just so you guys can see me. Stay where you are. Go ahead and bring your feet together. We're going to come into chair pose. Utkatasana. Love Utkatasana, right? Big booty burner, thigh burner. I want you to think about, for this one, taking your butt back so your knees are in line with your heels or to the best of your ability. Stay here. Feet are together. Take an inhale. Exhale, fold. We're going to do that again, but this time you can come into a uh, more normal Utkatasana. Yeah. All right. From here, take your hands to center chest. Take an inhale. Exhale, you're going to twist to your right. 
Yeah. And just get as big into your twist as is feeling good for you. Now, for some of you, you're going to stay here. Some of you are like, I am really ready to get spicy. So, those of you who are going deeper, you're going to come into a little toe squat. Hands are on the floor. Your hands are about shoulder width apart. You're centering over your hands. We're going to bend the elbows like chaturanga. Coming to side crow. Those of you who are like, what the hell did you just do? I don't understand. I'll break it down for you. DM me and we'll talk about side curl because I love teaching this post. But right now, just in the interest of time, we're gonna just kind of get in and get out. Come into a standing forward fold, wherever you are. Take a moment, catch your breath. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold. And your knees, Utkatasana, we gotta do the second side. So maybe you're just twisting to the left, and that's cool. Stay here if that's where you're going. Those of you who are going for side crow, hands are shoulder width apart. You're looking forward, you're chaturanga-ing your arms. Feet come off the floor. Maybe some of you are like, I'm gonna get real funky with this. Maybe you're like, no, <laughs> no, not today. When you're ready, standing forward fold. For this one, you can widen your feet. Take your peace fingers, interlace them around your big toes, take an inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend your elbows, let your head relax. Shake your head, yes, no. Good, one more round of breath. Exhale through your mouth. Undo the clasp with your hands. And then just walk your feet into downward facing dog. You can stay in your down dog for a bit if you want to. Keep pushing the floor away with your hands, lifting your thighs up and back. Some of you are gonna want to do a little vinyasa here. So that would be inhaling forward into plank, exhaling to lower halfway, maybe knees are on the floor. Inhale cobra or up dog or locust. And then exhale downward dog. Inhale, pick up your right leg. Open your hip bend your knee. Squeeze your heel towards your butt. And then with your right leg, I want you to take that sucka forward. Forward, 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 forward. We're gonna come into pigeon. <clears throat> Whatever version of pigeon you wanna do here, totally cool. When you're ready, forearms come down. Maybe you lay your head down on your hands. That's okay. So this is another one of those poses. Um, people tend to get a lot of questions about pigeon and like the proper form. And um, for today, I'm not super worried about alignment. What you should be feeling is a stretch on the outer hip of the front leg. Now, if your right knee is hurting when you're in this pose, DM me and we can talk about it. I know what to do to help out. So find your pigeon You can let your head kind of relax on on the floor, or if you're feeling kind of tight, put your head on your block. And just let your body chill out, decompress just a little bit. Big inhale through your nose. Exhale. <sighs> yeah. Good. Those of you still feeling like you haven't done enough spicy work, you can always take Flying Pigeon Ekapada Galavasana here. Um, if you have no idea what that is and you're very interested, DM me. It'll be another class. Okay. When you're ready, I want you guys to stay in your pigeon, but come into a place where your forearms are on the floor. Like this. We're going to inhale, lengthen. I want you to take your left hand to your right knee. So that's left hand, right knee. You're gonna take your right fingers over to the right. Inhale, get long through your spine. As you exhale, twist towards your right. What you're gonna feel is a big old butt stretch through the right glute. Stay with it for a moment. Good. And then come back towards center. Maybe inhale, lift up. Lean back a little bit, find that back bend shape. Ah. And then when you're ready, two hands come down. 
downward facing dog. You can counter stretch your right leg if you need it. You can take a vinyasa if you need it. If you're like, no, dude, I'm chilling really hard. I don't want any more chaturangas. Skip it. It's okay. When you're ready, you're going to pick up your left leg. Same thing. Open up your hip, bend your knee, squeeze your heel towards your butt. And then we're going to send that left forward for pigeon. Round two. Uh, find your shape. If you need to stay vertical for a moment, that's great. If you're like, no way, I'm taking it down. Forearms down to the floor, head rest on the something. Do it. Find your comfortable place. Stay here. And just chill. Find your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Again, if pigeon causes you any issues at all, definitely send me a DM. We can talk about it. <clears throat> that goes for like any pose, to be honest. Like I love breaking poses down with people. So if you're ever not sure about something, just hit me up. I got you. I'll help you out. All right, from here, let's bring forearms to the floor. So your left leg is in front. So we're going to take our right hand to the left knee. Take your left fingers over to the left. Inhale, get long. As you exhale, you're gonna to twist towards your left. You're gonna feel a huge stretch through your left butt cheek. It's wonderful, actually. I forgot this on the other side, but if you wanna take this further, you can always take left hand to left hip or even take your left hand behind your back. So you're in a little bind. You can grab that left foot. One more round of breath, inhale. Exhale, untwist. Maybe you're walking your hands back, lifting up, leaning back, big old chest opener. From here we're exhaling, two hands come down, downward facing dog. Feel free to counter stretch your left leg if you need it. And here we are, down doggies. Cool, we have about 10 minutes left in class. So next thing I wanna offer are some back bends. Now, those of you who are regular yogis and you're well seasoned, you're spicy, you're like, I got this, I got 10,000 back bends in my arsenal. That's cool. You should do them. This is you in your own living room. So like, I'm not here to yell at you if you do something wrong or something that isn't what I'm teaching. Do whatever you need. I'm gonna teach um, Dhanurasana bow pose and then I'm gonna teach Urdhva Dhanurasana um, wheel pose. You can always do bridge. You can always stick with like locust instead. Totally fine, okay? So, I think you're in downward dog, but let's all just lay on our bellies here. We'll start by coming into locust, like we did in the beginning of class. You're just gonna inhale, lift your chest, roll your shoulders down your back, reach the arms back, and then lift your legs. Think about, <clears throat> think about being comfortable in your spine rather than lifting up really high here right away, okay? Keep lengthening. Think about rotating your thighs towards one another, your inner thighs towards the ceiling like we did in Revolved Half Moon. And then if you're feeling good, maybe you bend your right knee, grab the right foot, bend your left knee, grab your left foot. Push your feet into your hands to lift, and then the chest will follow. Couple of breaths. You might rock. If you're finding it hard to breathe in this pose, you're going too deep. And honestly, this is a time where a lot of us are, you know, not really moving our bodies as much as we are. So maybe you normally take this pose, but today you're like, no, I'm tired. That's reasonable, you guys. Be, listen to your body. And out here. Exhale. Lower down. You can just lay on your belly. So feel free to repeat that if you want. If you have bigger back bends that you want to do like from this shape, that's also fine. You can also do camel, it's a great one. I'm going to teach it one more time so when you're ready, we'll start by finding locust, lift up, and then just bend your left knee, bend your right knee, push your ankles into your hands, and then lift. Exhale. 
exhale, bring it down. If you're toast, you can just stay right here. I'll be honest, I'm toast. <laughs> it's rare that I actually take my own classes when I'm teaching. This is hard. All right, from here, wiggle your hips side to side. And go ahead and roll <clears throat> over onto your back. Feet are about hips width apart. So you can always start with bridge. Again, if you're toast, stick your block or your soup can underneath your sacrum. You can do a restorative bridge like this. Right? Maybe your block is on a different height. That's fine. Or lift up like you're trying to bring your collarbone to your chin and your hips up high. Engage your butt. Those of you wanting more, pick up your right leg, set it down, and then do your left. I always love grabbing the edges of my yoga mat when I do bridge as well. I think it feels better than interlacing my fingers behind my back. That's just me. Those of you taking this further into wheel, hands go um, by your ears. I like pointing my fingers out to the sides a little bit. And then just try to see that your elbows are bent at a 90 degree angle. It's going to give you the best force. So push your hands into the mat and lift up. Take a couple breaths here. You can always do a one-legged wheel. It's kind of like the point in class where everybody's doing something different and it's cool. It doesn't matter. Oh, here comes Kingsley. Hey, buddy. All right, from here, lower down. Just pause. You guys have the space to do one more back bend on your own. I'm gonna put on my teacher hat and not my demonstrator hat. <clears throat> so whatever back bend you're doing, I love you, I support you, keep it up. You're doing great. I think I'm gonna get kicked off in about two minutes. So once you're done back bending, um, I want you to take Supta Baddha Konasana. So that would be bottoms of the feet together, knees wide. And you're just gonna lay down. Maybe your arms are wide. Maybe you have a different shape with your arms. Doesn't matter. I like arms overhead. I want you to close your eyes here. And just take a moment. So you guys, we've been twisting a lot during this class. We did a bunch of back bends. So now the only thing to do is just kind of chill out. Once your low back is no longer feeling all the back bending, once it feels nice and mellow, you'll come into happy baby. So maybe you're not ready for it just yet, that's okay. You're gonna grab the edges of your feet, take your legs kind of wide, draw your knees down. Yeah. And then from here, feel free to just work right into Shavasana, unless you've got some other finishing postures that are part of your practice. When you do get to Shavasana, you just let go. You don't have to do any work. It's your time to chill, to soften, relax. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale, exhale, so I want you guys to stay in Shavasana if you are here, um, keep chilling, stay as long as you want. I want you guys to please reach out if you had like technical issues with this class or um, anybody has questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know. If you want to break down any poses, let me know. And that's it. I'm so happy you guys are tuning in. Um, definitely like if you want to work on anything at all, hit me up. Thank you so much. You guys be well, stay healthy. Those of you who are friends from afar, thank you so much for tuning in. Love you all from Chicago. Namaste. Also, like, call me, you guys. You can call me. I don't know how to end this, actually. Oh, here it is. Okay, bye.